Hey, what's happening, everybody? You checking out Rick Ski with your homeboy Dane Funk from Los Angeles, West Coast. Y'all stay up and keep the funk alive. One. Rick Ski TV. Subscribe now. Get abonnieren. I have a couple of uh, artist names here. Can you give like a short statement to each name? Yeah, no problem. Okay, Rick James. Rick James, the fun guy. Um, Kids loved him. Had the posters in their, on their walls when I was growing up. Uh, party man and um, definitely respected and rest in peace. Roger Troutman. Roger Troutman, a, a god of funk. Uh, unsung hero. Um, and, uh, you know, he's just um, a person that, um, that really innovated the art form of talk box. And, um, and he will always be remembered in my heart as being a, a true king of funk. Evelyn King. Evelyn King, great vocalist, very energetic on stage, um, still doing her thing, and a lot of respect for her. She's uh, uh, one of a kind, and, and she definitely deserves more respect today. Trouble Funk. Trouble Funk, the purveyors of go-go music in Washington, D.C., um, very funky, stuck with their own style, didn't get the props that they deserve, but I think more people are discovering Trouble Funk's uh, greatness as time goes on. Jocelyn Brown. Jocelyn Brown, great disco diva, and then went into post-disco as well. Uh, very great vocalist, one of the strongest vocalists from that particular era, the early 80s, and uh, she's um, definitely respected. Uh, D-Train. D-Train, uh, one of the kings of Boogie, um, and, and, um, and the, the biggest act on Prelude Records, in my opinion. Um, him and uh, Hubert Eves uh, changed the game, and uh, you know they uh, really brought a great um, James D Train Williams, which the group was named after D Train, but it really consists of him and Herbert Eves, the third. Uh, they really just had a great sound, and I definitely respected. Uh, definitely a great sound for people to check out anytime. Timeless uh, music. Parliament Funkadelic. Parliament Funkadelic, great group of, of collection of, of fantastic artists. Uh, to me, George Clinton is the undisputed king of funk. Um, a lot of people think James Brown is, but James Brown was the godfather of soul. But he is a funk purveyor and Sly Stone as well. Uh, but I think George Clinton definitely deserves to hold the crown. He's still around now, and he is the king of funk in my book. Fonda Ray. Fonda Ray, great vocalist, uh, you know, New York-based, uh, uh, definitely a great Latino contribution. Um, and she's just uh, a fantastic uh, vocalist who, who made some great 12 inches, man. It'll always be remembered. Steve Arrington. Steve Arrington, my favorite vocalist of all time, my favorite funk vocalist, great spirit, um, genuine artist, lead singer of Slave and drummer of Slave, which a lot of people don't realize. He was the drummer as well, who actually created a certain style of drumming that people used a lot and didn't give him credit for. He created that skip skip beat and the snare and the drums. It was always four on the floor, but it was like a skip beat. <laughs> He came up with that, and um, he's just like a friend now. We have three-hour conversations on the phone. Europe is more or less stuck in the 70s with the funk movement here. Do you think you are going to be an influence on that? Um, I hope that I can contribute to uh, people opening up their minds beyond the 60s and 70s styles of funk, which were fantastic eras, man. You can't take that away. But uh, I think that it's okay to accept synthesizers as a part of the game. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, you know, I think it's time that people embrace some of the electronic contributions in funk that started after the 60s and 70s. And, uh, and now that we have kids growing up now and discovering this music, um, they don't know what uh, that stuff was about, you know, and, but they should learn. But I think the 80s and, and, and on up, you know, definitely gave us some good funk like in Tume, Juicy Fruit. I mean, how could you deny something as, as great as Juicy Fruit and not consider that a respectable form of funk, you know, or Kashif? You know, even though he was on the R&B side a little bit, he still contributed a lot of um, original funk um, from an electronic bass. And... Um, I think that uh, that hopefully with people discovering those artists and some of the newer artists that are out now can, um, you know, embrace uh, stuff beyond the 60s and 70s when it comes to funk. Cool. Uh, B-Funk legend Gary Scheider passed away. What are, what are your thoughts on his legacy? Uh, I think it's a, a, a sad loss. 
and but he did live a fantastic life uh it, from my humble opinion looking from the outside to the inside uh great guitar player great vocalist and um you know i definitely think that uh um he will be remembered in the uh the archives of funk for being a, a great funkster yeah he'll be missed and rest in peace uh what are your uh, upcoming projects experimenting with different uh, uh sounds um working with different people like uh, night jewel she's a lady out of a uh, uh, young lady out of los angeles she's uh, more known in the lo-fi chill wave you know genres if you will uh but she uh is definitely an artist i'm excited about because she does her own thing not following trends and i like to work with people who are doing that um i'm also working with uh, jody watley of shalimar and her own solo stuff she uh, has a song that i produced on her album called chameleon uh, released on her own label avatone also um uh doing some things with um uh, a few other people that I, I'm not going to name now, but but Steve Arrington is the one that I'm most excited about right now uh, by um, bringing him back into the funk zone. And, um, you know, after he's taken such a long break away from it. I heard in, in another interview, uh, you mentioned that you produced some rap stuff also back in the days. Can you give us some examples? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I, in the 90s, during my come up in L.A., <clears throat> I was working... Um, on keyboard sessions uh, solely. Um, I wasn't releasing records yet. That came later on on Stone's Throw. But before that, before I was signed to Stone's Throw, I was working with the West Side Connection. Um, I did stuff for um, individual artists like WC and MC8 and, and did some stuff on the Master P, P soundtrack called uh, uh, I Got the Hook Up. Work with All From The Eye, group called The Road Dogs. Um, just a, a different local artist, um, E-Dub from L.A., Pasadena. Uh, not to be confused with the other uh, E-Dub that's out there, but uh, it's like um, just work with a lot of people uh, in the in the hip-hop community. Um, so if anybody ever wants to, you know, challenge me on, you know, what's hip-hop and what's not funk and all this bullshit, you know, you can't do that because I have experienced the hip-hop uh, world and I've contributed my part to the uh, the legacy of hip-hop when it comes to West Coast hip-hop. So, um, but I just choose to, to go more into the funk and um, in other styles. And I just hope that people let me do that freely. Uh, what is the future of the funk in your opinion? I think the future of the funk is um, just experimenting more with trying to find new chapters in funk, not always uh, uh, represent or, or do stuff from the past, but keep pushing the envelope. Funk is not just about tributes or old school or oldies but goodies. It's about going forward with the funk. I think that all of us have um, different things we want to do and share that, that didn't get continued when funk got dropped by a lot of the major labels so um now it's like time to experiment with new stuff um i like some of the new things that are coming out like uh devin who is good um you know um there's a lot of other people coming out with funk that, that that's progressive and new um definitely influenced by dilla a lot but um but still even that is going to start progressing you know where people can just start making their own funk and, and and chords but i definitely think the future of funk is more melodic sounds synthesizers um and vocals as well not just instrumentals and um and 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 just keeping it true um even with cats like uh, uh funk master ozone and and different people out there that are keeping it alive you know that's what we're about trying to keep the past intact but move to the future so that's what future funk to me is embracing the past but moving to the future cool thanks a lot for the interview no problem man much love you guys peace all right cologne bricks ptv Subscribe now. Jetzt abonnieren.